Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria 1.4 video. Today we're trying to figure out how far we can hit a golf ball in Terraria. And thanks to my extensive amount of research, aka looking at the wiki pages a couple minutes ago, we're gonna use everything to my knowledge to try and just knock a golf ball as far as we can. We're gonna try and use all four clubs. And believe it or not, even though the clubs look different, they actually don't do anything at all. These are all just looks, nothing else. So who would have thought that Relogic would do something like that? But yeah, we have a multitude of clubs here. We're going to get the premium ones because why not? Probably people don't even know that these exist. Shit, I didn't even know they existed. So we're going to get the putter, the driver, the wedge, and the iron. All of these all do different things. As we can see here, the putter says a specialized club for finishing holes. Golf balls will stay close to the ground over short dis distances for precision shots. And the driver, a powerful club for long distances. Golf balls will carry very far with little vertical loft this might be our big boy we're using in this video to try and cover the most ground we have the wedge a specialized club for sand pits or tall obstacles golf balls will gain tons of vertical loft but will not carry very far and last but not least the iron a well-rounded club best for mid-range distances golf balls will carry a good distance with decent vertical loft so overall a great club to use but yeah let's start with the information that's obvious here we could probably hit a golf ball all the way across the map map if we use conveyor belts and ice because conveyor belts do carry the ball and ice does allow the ball to slide but for obvious reasons we're not going to do that instead we're just going to see how hard we can just you know regularly just swing and hit the thing now let me organize these in an order where i think they'll do the best the driver being our final one that's going to hit the furthest now another piece of information we should all know is that apparently if you hit the ball on a solid surface a harder surface it goes further and also if it's bouncing on a harder stone surface it bounces further so hitting it in grass and bouncing it into grass and sand will obviously slow it down a very nice small detail there but yeah i have our little thing set up here i honestly might even change the blocks all to stone uh, just to see if we can get the maximum distance but for now i have gem spark because each gem spark set of blocks here represents 20 blocks so we got the red 20 blue 40 purple 60 white 80 and orange 100 and every 100 i have labeled all the way down to 200 300 400 500 600 and last but not least 700 if a ball goes past 700 blocks that's that's pretty insane but yeah i don't think there's anything else that will help the ball go any further so let's begin swinging so we're just gonna take our putter here and we're gonna max how hard we're hitting it now there's a couple of different ways we could do this we could do this using height or we could do this using like just straight up horizontal like power i don't know i guess we'll try it a different couple ways and see how far it goes let's just start with like just hitting it straight no bounces or anything none of this just nice like straight hit with the putter max power let's see how far it goes okay a nice was that 45 i said 45 but these all represent 20 so i obviously don't know how to do math so we got 20 40 60 a nice like 70 almost 80 if it got over here to the other side let's try hitting it straight up now and see how far it goes or not straight up because obviously straight up not could be the greatest but more like this this sort of angle and let's see what happens I'm assuming it's gonna go further just off of the bounce alone. Ooh, the bounce is kind of weak. It actually went not as far as the first hit. That's surprising. Now, again, we aren't using stone here, uh, and I may have to change that in the future, but for now, we're not gonna worry about it. So next up, we got the wedge here. This one's used for, you know, wedging it out of sand pits and stuff, or just knocking it vertically over something. But let's see how far it goes here. We're gonna try and just do max power, and it looks like it's gonna fly pretty far. But let's see. Oh, easily 200? yes sir easily in the 200s which is very nice now i think it actually isn't in the 200s because i think right here would be 100 so this is like in the 180 area 190 area yeah this is like 190 over here would be 200 not bad didn't seem to bounce too much when it did hit the floor but i honestly didn't expect it too much but yeah let's go ahead let's try and hit it at a higher angle here and see if it goes any further the wedge does have a little bit more power so it might go further yes it does so easily clears past 200 blocks and gets into that almost 220 area which is not bad that's pretty damn far so if the putter was in the 100 area or barely under the 100 the wedge is past the 200 we, i got some high expect expectations for the iron and the driver like i'm expecting the driver to hit like over here in the 500s the iron the 400s 300s but let's go ahead and put the iron to the test here we're gonna do our straight hit of course boom 
Oh my god, that's a lot of power. That's 300 easily. 300 on the dot. Ooh, almost 300 on the dot. Not bad. And then let's go ahead. Let's give it a little bit of a different angle. Boom. I'm assuming the bounce might make it go past 300. Yes. So like that 320, almost exactly 320, like 325, 330. So not bad at all. Now we're coming down to the big boy, the premium golf club driver edition. I'm ready to see this thing hit the 400s. It might even hit the 500s. This is where we put all our money into right here. Let's go ahead and see. I got my mouse almost completely off the screen. Boom oh my god he ripped that oh but it's not even going that far 400 is still far but i was expecting 500 no problem but that's not bad it's in between 400 and 500 so honestly not that bad at all i think we can do better than that i think if we hit it at this angle it's flying off of the bounces alone come on let's see what we get here 300 oh it feels weaker what this was the weaker hit i feel like this thing was gonna fly off of the bounces damn that's almost 380 on the dot we might have to give it a couple extra swings here just to see just to oh that the very interesting how the ball oh we almost made yo <laughs> we made it to like 480 so there's a little inconsistency here my mouse is off the screen the screen also had trouble keeping up here let's try it again maybe my mouse has to be off the screen maybe i should zoom out so i have more room to bring it off the screen boom that one was weaker somehow how was that weaker what there's a little inconsistency here let me i'm gonna go aim higher on that hit and look at that that one almost cleared it if we can clear 500 then i think i'll be more than satisfied with this so i'm gonna keep on changing up the angles here we're gonna see if one of them clear 500 the bounces look good on that one but it was still kind of weak so if we go any higher there's no way it's clearing 500 so we have to stay in like this area this area right here seems like the sweet spot come on just just past the 500 we're so close so yeah it seems like i, I can't get it past the 480 mark or 490 mark it seems like the sweet spot is is in between right before the 500 which is sad because we're so close we are so close now here's the thing i think just for this club not for the other ones i don't really care about the other ones this was the big boy that i was worrying about here and i wanted to see the outcome of this one since stone supposedly supposedly makes the ball bounce more we're gonna go ahead and get some some gray bricks here and we're gonna place it in the area where this ball is bouncing just to see maybe we'll clear it let's go ahead and see if the stone affects it at all i brought it all the way down to 100 let's see here i'll move up very close to boom that's our typical hit okay so i think the block that we were already using aka gem spark was hard enough uh because this does not seem like a difference honestly it seemed like we went even less further than we are what the hell damn am i being lied to one of the examples they used was gray brick no it looks exactly the same so yeah gem spark did work out just it didn't make us go further but gem spark worked for a hard block i bet if i switched everything to grass then we would not be going as far i kind of want to test that out to see but at the same time i'm kind of lazy also i should mention that we are using a golf tee if you're not using a tee it doesn't hit as hard another little detail don't know if i said it already but i have put ice in this last area just to see even though i said i didn't want to use ice or conveyor belts i just wanted to see if ice will actually give us enough momentum to pass over into 500 let's see let us see just give us that nice little slide please i just want to see us pass 500 yes perfect we passed 500 that's like 501 right there we did it we were able to hit a terraria golf ball 500 blocks far that's insane we could probably hit it over a million if i had conveyor belts and ice go from one side to the other side that's even harder to set up actually it'd probably be easy to set up if i use like t-edit or some shit so another alternative we can use here and you guys may be wondering why i haven't done it yet uh we could use bouncy blocks what are, what am i looking for is it balloon blocks balloon blocks these are these are some bouncy blocks these are the walls why am i getting the walls these are some bouncy blocks and golf balls are actually affected by them which is very nice let me see if i can uh bounce it on top of this look at this boing boing i don't know if it boings that far regularly but let's see all right boom i think i covered all the bouncy areas i don't know i just put bouncy blocks from here to there let's see if it passes 500 i hope so the bounce should add in a little bit more but i think the ice was the best oh Oh man, it went further than the ice. That's like 510. That's pretty damn good. So we can send a golf ball 
510 blocks i bet we could send it even further if i put ice but i feel like that would be pushing it at that point it's, it's like it's like 500 with an asterisk next to it something like that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video here now i'm gonna I'm show you a little something here a little secret that i don't know if people know about but you actually can use the router discord with the golf ball camera so uh let, let's see here let's put it in action i'm gonna go ahead slam this all the way down here and then last second we're gonna switch to the router discord and see how far we teleport ready we're gonna let this get all the way down here and then three two one boom and look at that look how far i just teleported oh my god that was that was almost 500 blocks of teleport as we can see the 500s right there <laughs> but jesus christ it's, an, it's a nice little trick you, you can do you just gotta you just gotta be ready because as soon as you switch items uh, here i'll show you here uh we'll go ahead and use the putter as soon as you switch items the camera kind of locks back into you but you know if you time it perfectly aka just quickly switch and click you can you can send yourself pretty far let's see if we can go all the way back or as far as we can back to the left but let's go ahead let's slam it and ready you ready and look at that we're in the 300 we went further than the golf ball actually did what the hell <laughs> one more time just just to show it again because it's hilarious let me see if i can get it even better where are we i didn't even do that <laughs> boom send it all the way down there ready set go and look at that we're down here but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to check out my twitch twitch.tv slash gamers on one because if you guys are wondering why i'm not uploading it's probably because i'm streaming because we're trying to get twitch partner on there but yeah hope you guys enjoyed I I'll, I'll see you next time